Young Godfather, no leash, no chain, I'm a dog, no collar. Puerto Rican flow, the mama trying to holler, better step back, back for my wife, you have a problem. I'm chilling in France, I need that advance. All right. <sighs> FYTB, behind the scenes. This shit is just as long as our camera will stay alive. Just got, like, yeah, we're going to start doing them shorter. We realize that the first three was dumb long for yeah. no reason. Really? It's behind the scenes. It doesn't have to be that long. Um, I think it's because we try to do it together with the lives. Right. And it, it this didn't work. So we did our live already, as y'all have probably seen, because if you go to our lives, you're definitely watching this shit. And so now we... um. Doing behind the scenes. What's behind the scenes today? What are you doing on your phone behind the scenes right now? I'm texting the guests we just had in the episode. You nice. Guys, you guys saw the guests we just had. I'm texting the uh, potential future guests. So. Yeah, you know, this is what we do on our free time. Yes, it looks just like this. Mics and everything. <laughs> no. <laughs> except the, except of these mics were on the PlayStation party. <laughs> I put it. I put this mic. No, it's these exact mics. I put it on my uh, back fat, little uh, back back body. I'm getting. I, I screw it with that, and I walk around like this. Nah, that's fucking back. hilarious. <laughs> and I go, so Joe. And then Joe won't even be there. And I'm like, ah, I need new friends. <laughs> so we're reaching out to what I do is uh, I go down Instagram. And when I see people that make funny content, I'll be like, yo, you want to be on the show? And they don't open it. <laughs> so when y'all be like, why don't we have this person on the podcast? It's because secretly they're assholes and they don't want to be on the show. But there's no response, so it is what it is. But um, we're reaching out, we're reaching out. Mm -hmm. FYTB, behind the scenes. Yeah, um, you know, this this past uh, week episode is short. Um, I wouldn't say it's anyone's fault. It's um, if the quality looks better from this week in comparison to last week, it's that's why <laughs> it's it's that fault. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that's pretty much the reason we got better equipment. We got um, so now we got two big lights right here, and then off the sides over here we have the lights we originally used. Um, so yeah, what wait, what is that light? Do you see on the the camera itself? It's like a white light over where your phone is. What is that? Now over we phone with this mic is you see that you see it like on the on the on the projector screen. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> I wonder if that's like on the camera HUD. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks like 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 it's on the yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just touching. Shit. Um, but yeah, so we were setting up for like a good hour and a half, and then um, usually us setting up for that long is not an issue, but you know our guests had to uh, skedaddle. Like exactly at the time that we yeah. we finished booking this. So, so you know, stuff happens, and we we could have had her back to like finish it, but we pretty much touched on everything we wanted to talk about. Yes. If you guys want her back, let us know. Like, if you guys love her and you want to see more of her, holla. Really, and that's why I feel, that's why I finished texting her. I was like, um, she said she she's okay with that, and like she's happy. She had a blast. She said we everything was great, um, and yeah, she said if the people want me, I'll come back, and I agreed. If this if this potentially does another one situation, if this does potentially another Jesus situation, then if if this does those numbers, then come back as much as you like. Come back as much as you like. <laughs> yeah. So tell me more about how you because this was kind of like I feel like certain episodes mm -hmm. are like attributed to one of us, right? Yeah. Like, Justin A's episode, that was, like, your brainchild, right? Yeah. Like, you had planned that from, from top to bottom. I was like, hey, have him come yeah. and do a thing. Um, explain to me or, or talk talk me through, like, your brainchild for this one. I, I would attribute this so, one to you. So, you know, this came out I'm of not trying to say if it sucks, it's his fault. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying like, that I feel this like the, him. the episode came out, like, a poor time. What do you mean? Um, I had the idea of having her as a guest. Way before, like when we were first thinking about like, who could we have as a guest, uh, she was one of the original. She was one of the original people, right? Okay. I didn't and, know that. And it, it just it just so happened that when we were like, all right, who will we have next? I was like, well, here's this person that you know we haven't had yet, and okay. I would. So when uh, I originally thought of having her, that's when we were having our good stretch, and I was like, okay, this can attribute to that a little more, you know? Like I was, I wasn't expecting her attribute. episode. Yeah, contribute. No, attribute. Oh. But not attribute. It's okay, bro. Tomato, tomato. You know what I mean. Hi, uh, good oh. afternoon, Mr. Rivera speaking.
Insert Charlie Brown. Wah, 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 wah. Well, you know wah, what it is? Wah, wah, wah. I think that... I don't know if this is an automated call or not, mm-hmm. right? I'm sure that it... I'm sure that it isn't. Because this doesn't sound like an automated lady. This sounds like someone just reading. Yeah. But because she has to get through what she has to get through, she's just not stopping at all. Yeah. But look, listen to this. <laughs> propane, propane well, so I had I had made a formal complaint about the building because, you know, my heat upstairs. Yeah. I have to leave the heat on fucking 85 for my apartment to get warm. Yeah. So I had made a complaint, but they're saying that since it's not the first complaint about the building, they're just going to expect a random apartment. And if it's a problem there, then they'll issue a citation to the building. Yeah, New York City does not care about... Um, and then she hung up. Yeah. <laughs> New York City does not care about renters at all. New York City is probably the worst city in the world ever of all time. But New York City does not care about people who rent apartments. They treat They treat every citizen that rents an apartment like shit. Mm-hmm. Because the idea in New York City is that Oh, if this person doesn't rent here, if they move out of state, somebody else will just move in. Right. right? Like, there's so many people that want to live here. Fuck y'all. There's so many people that want to live here that it's just like, oh, one goes, another comes in type shit. Like, they don't give a fuck. So, the quality will never get better as long as y'all romanticize New York City. So, thank you for that, guys. I appreciate that. Really, though? I live in shit because you guys saw, um, what's that movie? A bunch of movies in Times Square. And you were like, I love New York City. And now I live in it. Now my building sucks. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. No, yeah, New York City is fucking ass. Yeah. So now if they go inspect an apartment that magically doesn't have an issue, mm-hmm. y'all fucked. Yeah, then I'll have yeah. to, yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I could take them to housing court, but mm-hmm. housing court is that just a hassle. You know, it's just like, do you have the time, energy, and, like. That's how I feel when I'm about to um, uh, email 2K support. <laughs> When I'm not getting my VC. Yes. I don't know if you've had this issue, but lately I've been having this issue where, like, I do the daily quest, mm-hmm. and I do not get the VC for it. Well, I, don't really, I don't usually check right after. Maybe I should. Right? So. Damn, nigga, you, <laughs> you need a VC loan, nigga? I can help you, bro. Nah, it's because, you know, I be I made some new players recently, and I've been upgrading them slowly, doing, you know, doing the slow grind, not mm-hmm. the buy the VC grind. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'll do the daily quest each day on each of them, and then, like, just level them up accordingly. So when I do the daily quest and I don't see that extra seven fifty in my thing, I'm like, yo. But then I'm like, it's just seven fifty. I don't want to make a big deal about it. Then the other day, I only needed seven fifty to like get to the next badge upgrade, like the next attribute. Mm-hmm. And then when I did the quest, I didn't get it. So I was like, all right, this is the last straw. I saved the clip. Contact this. So like I could have been did this, but I was just too lazy because of the process. Mm-hmm. Save the clip. Go to two K support. Write an email. Attach the video. Explain my problem. Done. Actually, let's check if they they responded to me. That was a few days ago. Let's see if they um, if they said. Let's yeah. do on on the screen. Let's do the odds of them responding to Joe. Yes, yeah, yeah. negative. I mean, positive. Two billion. Positive two billion. <laughs> if they responded to Joe. Um, no, negative. Fifty trillion. <laughs> nope. Mm, ah. So if you bet on Joe to get a response, if you put ten dollars, you just you now owe us. Forty million dollars. This is the exact email I sent them. I said, <laughs> "For the past two weeks, whenever I do a daily challenge on any of my my players, I don't receive the VC I was supposed to earn afterwards. It's extremely frustrating because I can't level up my player the way I want to, and I'm not receiving the reward for my hard work." <laughs> <laughs> You're like this fucking nerd ass nigga. Then I sent them the video. I won the game. I did the daily challenge. It came up on my screen: daily challenge success plus seven fifty. I go. I only got 300 of VC. What if they send you? What if they send you to VC and they're like, "Yeah, but your gameplay was ass, nigga." <laughs> you like, fucking what? what? Want to see the video? <laughs> no. So the um, there's a daily quest and then there was the weekly quest. So I was doing it for the street ball, right? Mm-hmm. So the the um, weekly quest was that I had to grab rebounds. So mm-hmm. I was pulling up from the three past half court because when you play street ball, when you pull up for the three half court and it comes bounce back. The AIs don't react to it, so I could easily get offensive rebounds, right? Right. So I, I kept on doing that, and then I actually made one, and I was like, fuck. And that's how the game ended, right? <laughs> so <laughs> what it looks like for, like, the first, like, 30 seconds, just me chucking up, half, like, full court shots, and then making one, and then my issue. I actually can't pull it up because they, they were rerouting me to the fucking website. Mm. So it is what it is. 
I used to write personalized messages for everybody that we contacted, but now I'm just like, nigga, you want to be on here or not? Yeah. I'm trying to get a bunch of like comedians, like um, like comedians that you'll see at like an improv center or like a like that do stand up. I've seen some of the people we com- um contacted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I try to get them because yeah. whenever you uh, contact someone and it's not someone of importance, like immediately, mm-hmm. I like put it to general, but I have to click on it to see if they're important or not. So yes. if I see that you contacted them for the, like that reason, I won't put it into general. Joe is the filer. <laughs> the filer, yeah. <laughs> not the filer, just the filer. I don't defile people. <laughs> Not that we know of. It would be so funny if that was, but it's not. The defiler. Um. <sighs> man. Oh yeah. So like before, before that you got that phone call, I was like, when I originally wanted her as a guest, I wasn't like seeing her as a saving grace. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. for those of you who don't know, you know, we don't talk about it much, but uh, we've had a slow week because the algorithm not really fucking with us like that. Well, not a slow week, a slow month. Yeah, yeah. And it's you know. Obviously, you know, it happens. It happens, right? And like, so we're not gonna like be distraught about it and like get on our knees and like just just cry about it. So we just figured out a different ways. So I've been wanting to book her. It just so happened that I booked her in our slow month. So right now we're we're looking for bigger guests that can help us get our like what what we want. Like we love having um. Quality guest, right? Like she was a quality guest because she gave good, you know. She she was giving good energy. She was talking about stuff, you know. Like we didn't have to like string her along. She knew what she she wanted to talk about, and she was um you know energetic about it. She was she was good about that, right? But um, uh, what we need right now are people who have like a lot of followers, so their followers could come. Not necessarily. Well, it, it, it's like um. Cause we had Desi that had a lot of followers, and we didn't get a lot of followers off that. We got a lot of followers off of the content, but I don't think that they were her followers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, like when you look at when you look at like a video that blew up, like the one that got like 80k, and then you look at the insights, and you look at how many followers we got off of that. First of all, we lost a few, but we yeah. <laughs> we look at the the followers that we actually got off that. Yeah. Um. They they they, they don't follow her. They're just people that saw the content and thought it was funny. I thought I think that what made Desi a good guess is that she had a, a, a it's kind of like a couple of bases that that we hit with a lot of our guests, right? They're funny, right? They have a, a unique story. They have interesting opinions, and they understand that it's a funny show. Like yeah. like some like you know we don't have guests on here. They're like ah, I'm glad you gave me this platform so that now I could talk about. Hunger in Dubai, right? right? Like that's yeah, not. Yeah, we're not bringing awareness, even though like we, we talk about it. We're, we're not bringing people for awareness of certain things. Right. I don't think y'all would take us seriously anyway. Because who the fuck are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I hear you. Like that, that. That's why. Like I don't. I don't think that's superficial about our guests. Like I want people on here who I feel like can bring something unique. Yes. Um. But you know, as as it's been going. The algorithm hasn't been fucking with us, so we need a little extra boost. Yeah, and I noticed that when um, you know, we posted we posted that thing on the game page the other day. Yeah, and and we posted it once and it got like a million, almost two million views. Yeah, and then we posted it recently and it got like ten thousand views. Yeah, <laughs> so it's the same exact content. Why the fuck one day did it get two million? Li- li- literally, you know, I, I, that's I, literally I, a two million view difference. Why? <laughs> I, I wanted to actually speak to you about that because like. You know, I, that, I did notice that. Like, I posted the same exact thing on our TikTok and on the Reels. And you see the Reels. Mm-hmm. The 10K, which is great. Because, um, you know, our Reels is still small. So, um, mm-hmm. not not real shorts. Sorry. We posted on shorts. And real the shorts thing. is still small. But what would make you show it to 2 million people right. one day? Literally one day. What was that? Three weeks ago, maybe? Mm-hmm. For a month, maybe. A yeah. month ago. And now today, it's the same exact content. It's not like it had content that had to do with, like... And it, like it, relevance, it, it's an old. It, it was content on a game that's ten years old, right? And it just goes back to the algorithm. I guess we just posted it at the right time, like the perfect yeah. time, which yep. I'm grateful for because, like, to this day, it's still giving me followers and um, yeah, people it's a great video. It was right? a ten out of ten video, but so are so many of our videos, right? And then that's what makes you feel like, oh, am I not doing enough? But no, I feel like every single thing we've ever released is a ten out of ten, gaming wise. <laughs> Some stuff for the podcast, like like um. 
like uh, I told you, I didn't like the Trinity clips at first. I didn't even like the mainland clips at first. I didn't like I didn't like anything about the mainland episode. I told you I told you that when we first did it. Mm-hmm. After this, I was like, ah, I fucking hated it. And I just didn't like it for whatever reason. I didn't like. It. I can't remember why I didn't like it now because now I like it because yeah, they're good. It, they did good. Yeah. <laughs> but when it first came out, I was like, oh, this is bullshit. Like, what do we just do? Like, uh, then um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what will be wrong with me when we actually shoot, but then we, when I edit it, I feel differently. And then we post it, I feel differently. So it is what it is. But well, well, like like those clips, I didn't like, and they did well. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that, that's why I never feel distraught about anything we put out. Like, I, like, all right. I know that not all of the clips we put out are ten out of ten because sometimes we put clips out just so we can have clips out. Mm-hmm. But I know anything that we do can go viral. Like even in those small, like dull moments. I've seen shit. Worse shit. Worse shit go that's viral. That's true. I have seen worse shit go. Like, I, I've never felt, I've never seen content that's really bad and be like, ah, oh, well, we did something as bad as this. I've seen y'all make some bullshit go viral. Yeah. Like, so it, it's bullshit. like when, when we make those little clips that this is like, oh, this shit seems boring or it's not like up to par with where we at, mm-hmm. then I remember that, boom, sometimes those go viral. So let's put it out anyway. And sometimes it has done good for us. Not super viral, but they've done better than a lot of the other stuff we put out. And then the videos we think are 10 out of 10, like 100 out of 10 that are, oh, this has to go viral. Mm-hmm. Sometimes those, those don't even crack 10K. Nah, really though. Sometimes they'll be dormant for like a month. Like the Genesis clip, I was like, oh, this is going to go viral. Shit got like 400 first day. A month later, that shit hit 10K. Why? Why a month later are you showing people this content, bro? I don't understand. Yeah, so it's really the algorithm. Um, just, just should we replace two? Should we replace ourselves with two white guests and have them do TikTok dances? Would that make us? Go, would that make us go viral? How do we do? I would hate that to be honest. <laughs> Me too. No, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and they, they, our, our our fans would hate it too, but everybody else would come. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the fuck is you talking about podcast? Renegade, renegade, renegade. <laughs> It's so funny because that's like the most popular TikTok dance ever, and I had like I never seen it. <laughs> go, go! I don't even know how to do a dance. I yeah. just like in my head I know how to dance. Go! I mean that the, the song go, and I'm like, All right, they, they do, do like they do certain movements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> what I, seen. I was just scrolling. <laughs> oh man, let let oh let's actually talk about this, bro. TikTok might be getting banned in the U.S. It's gonna take forever to do that. That's not like something that just happens. I they, so they had uh, they they passed it. Right, they have to pass it again. And then the president has to sign it. All right, which is fine. After that, there's so many appeals and things that you can file. After that, it'll be like two, three years before you see TikTok get banned. Yeah, let's just hope it gets banned after we're famous. <laughs> that's so funny. Because th- that's something that we and and, and it won't get banned. They'll just wind up selling it. Yeah, and they'll have a new name. Yeah, they'll wind up selling. Because TikTok was musically. Well, no, it, it, they won't sell it. It'll still be TikTok. The people they either get banned or they sell it to some a U.S. based company. Okay. That's the deal. They don't want Byte Dance on it anymore. Yeah. That's that's what's going on. Which is whatever, right? Yeah, it is what it is. It, it doesn't affect my day to day because TikTok hates us anyway. TikTok doesn't fuck with us regardless. It does. But it's been fucking with my gaming stuff lately, so. That's true. Shout out to TikTok for that's that. That's true. Shout out to TikTok. Damn, I'm almost at that 10K mark, bro. I can't wait. So I can actually. I say almost. I'm like way far from it. But it's like 2,500, though, right? Huh? It's like 25. Yeah, like 25. 10, 10, 25. What I have right now? Yeah. Yeah, like 2,500. That's cool because. Prior to that, that million, that two million clip was like under a thousand. You're still trying to get a thousand, so mm-hmm. it's fifteen hundred in like what three weeks? Yep, something like that. That's awesome. That rocks. Yeah. So I'm just hoping that it keeps on. Going. But all, but like like we said, all of those clips, like the one, the GTA one, that one's forever is gonna haunt me, because that yeah. shit was so funny. The like, Whitney Houston. Yes, yeah, the Whitney, Whitney Houston, Houston one was funny, yeah. but I also like the one where we were just like the the collages of the fucking heist that we were doing. Oh yeah, like, why would you reverse? That yeah. was so funny. Yeah, that one was hilarious. I seen a clip the other day with two, three million views of this girl just explaining how she had kids when she was 14, 16, 18, 21, and twenty two. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Y'all want to know about kids having kids? I can go outside right now and bring somebody to sit in this chair. That's 15 with a kid right now. I can do that for y'all, bro. That's what y'all need. Mm-hmm. Don't understand it, bro. Mm-hmm. Tony, please. Tony Stajakovic. 
Please come on the show. It goes like this. Looking for a bed in the pot for the piss. Uh, regulating so a nigga don't miss with the voice so go and the style mad crisp. I got it. Let me talk my shit.